now my friends will be meeting me today so hopefully you guys will meet him later today too um but i came just to like this palace place i was looking for something cheap to do and there's nothing cheaper to do than just in a park and drink water and like read a book and journal and stuff like that so i saw that this palace had like a grounds so i'm hoping that there's a spot in the park that i can just kind of like lay around and like chill in but it's so beautiful. I'm like, wow. I honestly think this might be cuter than Buckingham Palace, but I don't know if I can say that. Let me show you guys. So I definitely need to find a shady spot soon. Um, but hopefully I can find something. Yay! Okay, so I met some really cool girls when I was at my favorite place for $1 tacos and $5 margaritas. <laughs> and one of the girls who's been living in Madrid for like five years now recommended I go to this nail salon and she was like, it would be really great because you get to see this area of the city, I forget what the name is. <laughs> but I'm realizing it's like a really cute, like, gay area. Which is nice, they have like a bunch of like, rainbow flags everywhere, and they have a bunch of sex shops. So I'm like, mm, maybe I'll get a new vibrator while I'm in Madrid, we'll see. But I'm really excited to get my nails done because like, uh, like my nail is just like breaking in half, you know? 
because these are my natural nails too so sometimes I stub them and then they like just fold and crack which I really hate so really excited to get my nails done I like posted a little poll on my Instagram like do I get really plain ones oh look this is like hola, hola, hola. <laughs> definitely like a queer place like look at these shoes like oh my god so crazy anyway I posted a poll on my Instagram like do I get just plain regular nails because I'm abroad or do I keep getting like cute little designs like a little Spanish flair so I'll get whatever one people vote for so make sure you follow me on Instagram architecture here is just so insane like look at this nothing in New York looks like that literally nothing like we did no it's not in New York City ah it's so beautiful it's insane <laughs> but I'm in like this cute little plaza area it's really cool I just happened to stumble upon it but yeah I don't think Madrid is like good for my uh, allergies like I my allergies have been really bad here um, I didn't go out last night I fell asleep I was really tired um, I feel bad because I was supposed to go out with this girl I met from Paris uh, but she sent me some recommendations, so I'll probably go out with her. Actually, not very. She's on her way back to Paris, <laughs> but I'll probably go out to the places she recommended with Corey once he gets here tomorrow. But otherwise, I've just been kind of keeping it chill and low key. I'm I'm tired after like London, Marseille, and Lisbon. I definitely think I need to come back to Madrid and give it like a fair shot when I'm not like exhausted, like last leg of a trip. Um, but I've been having a lot of fun. I got some really nice pizza. Um, and yeah, now I'm just on my way back home to the hostel. I might do a bar crawl. But I also kind of want to just wait till Corey gets here because I feel like it wouldn't be fair to him if I uh, he got here and I didn't want to do anything. So I feel like I'm trying to save all my energy for when he arrives. Um, so I might even just like sleep and chill today too. Tomorrow I do have... Um, a photo shoot in the morning so I'm really excited about that I might wear this dress again and I have like an oh there's a Popeyes and I have like an outfit that I want to wear but I gotta figure it out these streets are so cute guys like oh it does not look like this in New York even though we definitely do have a Popeyes in New York I don't know if you can see it uh, oh I just burned <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
had a really great walk on Airbnb. So I am going to be posting uh, their names here on the video. Um, and I think, well, sad news guys, Corey is not coming. So I randomly decided to book a trip to Valencia today. So I'll be there tonight, tomorrow night, and then I go home on Wednesday to the United States. So I'm really excited. I think it'll be really fun. And I hear that Valencia has like really good food um, and it's more affordable than Madrid. So it should be a nice little overnight trip. I'm gonna do that. Um, then after I like eat some paella, which I'm really excited about, and then I'll probably head back to Madrid. But ah, I can't believe I made it. It's so beautiful. My Airbnb is literally like a 40 minute walk from here, which is probably why it was so cheap. Oh, I said Airbnb, I meant hostel, but you know, kind of the same thing. Um, but it was nice. Like I really thought I was gonna wake up and take an uh, Uber, but I left so early, I was like, mm, if I take an Uber, I'd have to wait for 30 minutes. But if I walked, I would have to wait for like five minutes. So, ah, I just can't believe I'm here. It's so cool. Ah, it's so pretty, so beautiful, and like impeccable. so weird seeing stuff that you've like googled in like real life like wow I literally googled this and was like oh like this looks so sick I want to come and now I'm here <laughs> life is a dream <laughs>
oh my god i forgot okay whatever we're still at that place that i was at earlier this is just like a different area of it and this part is totally free i did the museum the museum was like eight euros which like i don't really think it was worth it it's like cute if you have kids but like as a grown-ass woman i was like oh i feel like this is like my elementary school like science class which truly is what it is but yeah this is such a cute little area and the lady was telling me that there's actually like a club here at night so i don't have time this go around but hopefully next time like we're gonna be partying up here um but now i'm kind of hungry so i'm gonna go get some paella um also there's like legit orange trees here guys like i feel like i'm in miami or something like i've never seen orange trees before in real life and it's kind of cool that they have them everywhere here i don't know how people aren't like eating the oranges i would totally eat them okay so it looks like this is like the nightclub part it looks really cool actually like oh my god i have to come back It looks like it's called like Passage or something. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, okay, so now I know that's like the nightclub I have to come to when I am back in Valencia. I'm at the beach. I um I can't believe I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm really excited to go home, but Thank you. 